there are two ways to do chain stitch, regular and reverse. I'll show you regular first. So we'll start at the end of our line and bring our needle up, then down again beside but not in the same hole. We're creating a loop, so use your thumb to prevent the thread from pulling all the way through. Then bring your needle up one stitch length away, catching it through the loop as you do, and this will create our first chain. Down again, not in the same hole but just beside, and bringing your needle up so that you catch it in the loop of thread. It's very important not to put the needle back down in the exact same hole because the thread will pull right through. So I find it useful to use my thumb to hold the loop of thread while I stitch so that it doesn't pull through and makes it easier for me to catch it with my needle. When we've finished a line of stitching, we simply take one stitch at the top of the last chain to anchor it. To do reverse chain stitch, we'll start at the top of our line of stitching and take one stitch to anchor our first chain. Move down one stitch length away, and this time we'll keep our needle flat on top of the fabric as we slide it underneath the stitch we just made. Pull it all the way through and replace the needle in the same hole. And there is our first chain. Moving down one stitch length. Again, we'll keep our needle flat on top of the fabric as we pull it through the chain we just made and come down again in the same hole. Did you know I've created a collection of practice patterns which you can download for free at my website? Just visit iheartstitchart.com to access the entire library of free patterns and download one today.